can we just talk a little bit about the numbers first of all, Mert, and just get a sense of what they're telling us at this stage? A few weeks ago, it was almost certain that the president would pull off both the presidential vote and the parliamentary vote, and would do so with a clear sort of an easy win. Where are we now? Well, it looks like President Erdogan will be able to clinch a victory in this uh, in this poll, in this election. Uh, it, it's difficult to say whether if he's going to win in the first or the second round, uh, but uh, the margin of error is very close in the first round. He gets 50.8 percent in the first round. We're talking about a margin of error around three and a half percent, so could be either way in the first round. But if we look at the second round, the margin of error is three and a half percent, but still, but the lead that Erdogan has close to his, to his closest competitor is 8 percent. So that's definitely outside the margin of error. So if, if things go to the second round, it's very likely that Erdogan is going to win. Now, the, the thing that's going to determine the outcome uh, definitely is, is whether if he wins the parliament. Um, AQP will need uh, 301 seats in the parliament out of a 600. <coughs> and the AQP plus the, their coalition partner, MHP, needs to get uh, around 48, 49 percent of votes in order to get the 301 seats required for a majority in the parliament. Our poll and, suggests and that, that majority... he will be able to get that. Yeah, and that majority is critical because we are seeing a potentially significant, we're, we're potentially seeing a massive shift in the way that Turkey is governed. We are, as, as President Erdogan just mentioned, moving to a potentially a presidential system that if he can win both elements, i.e. the presidential vote and the parliamentary vote, effectively Parliament will become a non-entity and will just be there to rubber stamp. But if he doesn't win Parliament, <laughs> that obviously throws that entire plan out of the window, doesn't it? Exactly. And if he doesn't win the parliament, uh, if, and if things go to the second round, then we're talking about a completely different scenario there. Uh, this is a completely different world. We can't ask about this in our polls because this is a hypothetical situation that people have uh, difficulty conjuring up. Uh, but if, uh, if I try to make a qualitative judgment of what it's going to look like, suddenly I think we might see a lot of people around Erdogan uh, dropping their support for Erdogan in exchange for something new. Uh, in Turkey, what people need to see, the opposition voters especially, what they need to see is a, is a glimmer of hope. And uh, if Erdogan uh, doesn't win in the first round, and if AKP and MHP doesn't win the majority in the parliament, then we're talking about a glimmer of hope when things could change radically in the second round. But uh, I have to say that this is a highly unlikely scenario.